The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. This thing right here is letting all the ladies know what guys talk about. You know, the finer things in life. <laughs> Check it out. Dress so scandalous, and you know I never can handle it. So you're shaking that thing like who's the ish with the look in the eyes so devilish. You like to dance on the hip hop spots. And that's the truth. What's the real version now? This is the only version version now that we got left. Yeah. The kiss our natural ass. Dick and die. (laughs) But, um. Today we are be playing all songs that we feel are by artists that are subject. Falling short. Yeah. All, all artists all artists who might be gay, we're going to be playing their music. We're not mad at them now because they won you, the you, election. Right. You, could not like, yeah. you, could, you can have a problem with gay people if you want, but it's some gay people make some real good music. You see, we started out with Cisco Thong songs. <laughs> I don't care what you say. That is the cut, nigga. Because it ain't no stopping them now. Okay, let we accept that. that thong. I just want to let everybody know tonight, Bobby drunk than a motherfucker. <laughs> and that nigga lying and the truth ain't in him. <laughs> Bobby drunk than a motherfucker. This no, motherfucker. the truth is overwhelming and Corey is my friend since we met. If Bobby and get pulled get up by the nervous. police tonight, he is going to He jail. get a little nervous. He get a little nervous. He like a shell shot rabbit uptown. Yeah. <laughs> You got a drunk ass Frederick Douglass in there. <laughs> <laughs> now he you just seen that nigga hit the beer. And he gonna call me drunk. I don't Ain't get that drunk a bit. Easy. Ain't no beer gonna get me fucked up. Beer give me a drunk. But that'll make you lie on me. Beer, I ain't beer drunk, make nigga. me have sex with people that I gotta think twice about. It's too late. <laughs> it's too goddamn late. Speaking of stuff like that, yes. Tonight the topic is are you in a relationship with someone? You are ashamed of, and if you are ashamed of them, why are you ashamed of them? People can be ashamed of people for a lot of reasons. The obvious thing Most is looks. Most of them are professional. Obvious thing is looks. It's strictly business. A lot of people don't like the way they their partner looks. Because that ain't got nothing to do with it. Them niggas is broke than the Ten Commandments. Bobby is going to cut me off all show. <laughs> Cause he's drunk than a motherfucker. I already, when I, I drove this nigga down here tonight, and just the way he was talking in the car, Corey, you are my friend. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Hey, Corey, birds that flock together, what? What they do? They stay together. This motherfucker giving me a quiz, a drunk nigga quiz, all the way the fuck down here. And I know he didn't know it. I would have pulled out my phone and recorded it for him because I know he don't know how he, he act when he's no drunk. He evidence. That's why he didn't do it. Because this nigga my friend because he don't want people he gonna to know. He going to say my friend 30 times start to count right now. I know his drunk words. My friend. And he going to ask a lot of questions. <laughs> That he wants you to answer. He going he gonna to guide you to the answer. Why did the chicken cross the road? That's what he going to do. All day. <laughs> okay, go ahead then, man. Go ahead, motherfucker. Bobby, say what you're going to say. Don't Here's what I'm going to say is Corey is my friend because I know what a friend is. Remember that song they did, Friends, how many of them do you have? Yeah. The ones you can depend on? Yeah. He's embarrassed because he's a he's that kind of brother. Yeah, man. He's a friend to a friend. That's both. Yeah. I'm going to give you 10 more yeah. <laughs> before we go to commercial because I ain't got many friends because See? most niggas that pat me on my back is looking for somewhere soft to stab me. <laughs> That's funny, though. <laughs> it was some gamble. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, I was dating this girl and she was a very intelligent woman and I, and she was a good person too but i was ashamed of her because she had five kids and she was 26 <laughs> <laughs> and and the dude was a gangbanger who she had the kids by. The she last was a very one. voluptuous woman. She was oh my god! I couldn't believe her body bounced back like that. You would never know she had kids, but she didn't blew five out that motherfucking hustle box. And, um, I was embarrassed. Like one day she asked me, "Kid, would you meet me? I'm having. We went to um, 
what was that restaurant we went to? Joe's Crab Shack with her kids. Did she and, know you was famous? Yeah, the bitch knew I was famous. But look, <laughs> I I was embarrassed because people saw me in the restaurant and her kids were young kids too. And they was like, oh, Corey, is this your family? <laughs> <laughs> no, these little motherfuckers ain't mine. <laughs> I was ashamed that she had so many kids and she was only 26. And it w- I, it did, I still would have been with her is a pussy was blue out. I ain't gonna lie. That put, it felt like five kids ran up out that motherfucker. But it's still she she was attractive, so I was willing to deal with all that. I'm gonna stop but you when from we lying, was around man. all them kids, especially that time one of them kids was like, Where Corey at? I was like, Oh, it's too deep right now. I ain't, <laughs> Cor, I ain't fucking with your Cor, kids like Cor, that. Cor, for the first time in your professional career, we're gonna ask you to tell the truth. Because you just told your first lie on radio. Okay. That pussy was not blowed out. Because no, what? Okay. It wasn't blowed out. Oh, okay. Because you wouldn't have fucked that bitch twice if it was blowed out. You are out your motherfucking mind. <laughs> and them lonely nights, niggas will You fuck. ain't never been that desperate in your natural motherfucking life. you gonna tell life? me where my dick been? I'm ashamed of my dick. <laughs> These motherfuckers sitting up here telling me my dick been in only special places. My dick has been to hell and back. I'm glad this motherfucker ain't got no bumps on it. I done gambled plenty of nights with poverty-stricken inner-city women. But she must have been fine as cat hair. This motherfucker was different. This motherfucker, I, I, couldn't, I didn't believe her when she first told me she had five kids. And then when I saw them, they all looked like her and that nigga. They just, all her kids looked alike. This is the first time you done lied when the truth would do. I don't be lying about yes, shit you like did, that. Man, I was ashamed that, pussy... that she was 26 with five kids by a dude she did not have no type of marriage to or nothing. I told her, I was like, that dude kept sitting you down. That's what dudes do. When they don't want you out in the street, they put a baby in your head. Every time your pussy begin to heal, he put another one in there. <laughs> He set your ass down. I ain't talking about them pieces. I'm talking about the piece you got. What piece? The piece that you got stayed on your mind. What do you mean the piece that I got? Because you got it more than once. You fucked her more than once, Corey. Yeah, okay. I admitted that. Okay. Then raise well, your you hand. Ain't never, you ain't never raise fucked your goddamn hand. more than once. It's been girls who I threw their number away because I didn't want to fuck them. But that and pussy then, called you back, though. Right. I knew where they lived. So I drove around no, there and no, saw them. No, no, you a lie. I was like, hey, it was a coincidence. Lie. No, it ain't no coincidence. It is a coincidence. That Bobby. bitch gave you some pussy that called you back. And you need Bobby to admit has it. on his T-shirt that says, Real Men Don't Play, the yes. book and documentary. That's Wh- right. Where's the book? It's going to be on, on uh, it's really going to go to white folk first because <laughs> niggas... <laughs> Can't get this on no bootleg shit, right? Hey, man, this is an episode of The Family Guy <laughs> where the, uh, Stewie, the baby, made the dog Brian so mad because Brian been talking about he coming out with this book. For Brian ain't years. in the book, but who, I'm going to tell you who's in the book. Bobby Book Corey Holcomb on his way out. From Robert Taylor Holmes. <laughs> okay, this nigga right here to my right, if you're watching TV, pay attention. Okay, to my right is a nigga from Robert Taylor Home. He wasn't supposed to make it, and he did, and he fucked with me. And he's in Real Men Don't Play. Bobby if you think I'm bullshitting, go to realmendontplay.com. And December 20th, wife are going to buy it first. You oh, niggas going to steal 20th? it. You got damn right. December 20th, Real Men Don't Play start the countdown. Are you my friend, Bobby? For life. All right. We got a call. Let's get a call in. Uh, this is the Corey Holcomb Bootleg 5150 Show. May I ask who's calling? Yo, this is Jim from uh, north of Philly. Oh, I need my uh, headphones. Neither one on. of us. You didn't give us no I, goddamn we, headphones. We ain't got our headphones. Hold on one second. We're on TV like All a right. motherfucker, but we ain't got no headphones. Boy, this, this is a Negro production. My, head. <laughs> my, my ears don't smell like people. Alberto V05. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. See, on. you don't want to tell you why right. Porter's got away with this because Corey got distracted. He talked oh. about this last week. Oh, yeah, Porter's breast. <laughs> Titties out like a motherfucker. She tried to hide him. She wore a big sweatshirt. <laughs> the motherfucker was standing there like, you can't stop shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, hey, who, on the who, headphone. Who's now? on the line? 
Yo, Corey, what's going on, man? Hey, what's up? Who's this? Hey, this is Jim from North of Philly. I called you last week talking about Patrice That's the white boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome to the 5150 show once again. Bobby Drunk and the motherfucker. Yeah, I was, just, I was just about to say, I listen to you guys every week, and uh, Bobby's definitely off the off the rocker this week. He's yeah. drunk Well, shit. hold on, hold on, hold on that white boy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> See, that, forgive him. He, he don't no, know what he's you need to forgive. He done called my yeah. wife a bitch twice tonight, and I ain't said shit. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, hey, man. Bobby, I appreciate uh, your call. My, uh, my, my grandma actually overheard this radio show a couple of days ago, one of the replays. And uh, my grand thinks your voice is pretty cute, actually. Well, because she's, she's as old as I am. I'm 58 years old. Bobby going to cut you off the whole time you're talking. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> hey, hey, Corey, I was just uh, I was wondering your opinion on something. What do you do when, you're, uh, when your side girl wants to start moving in on you and, like, trying to mess up your real relationship? Like, like what do I do? Like, she's going crazy. There's only one way to deal with that. You got to jump on her. You got to beat the shit out of the bitch. <laughs> that way, if the police take you to jail, you tell your woman that bitch was trying to interfere with us, baby. I don't know what she said, but that bitch was starting some shit. I had to whoop that bitch ass. You ain't got no choice. You probably ain't no woman beater, but there comes a time yeah, in your life where you got to beat the shit out of bitch. Oh, man. Seriously, cause this, this is what she wanted at first. She didn't want no thing, and then now it's turned into like a whole, like, she wants to leave shit on my Facebook and try to find my girl's name, and it's a fucking nightmare. You got to jump on that hoe. You got to have, or you got to hire some girls, um, some WNBA looking bitches to get to get them to beat the <laughs> shit out the bitch. Cause you know what happened in the WNBA with Holes Claw, right? Tameka, oh man, yeah. Tamika Holes Claw, <laughs> I think that's her name. Was she um, uh, beat her bitch ass in the car <laughs> and then shot through the car? <laughs> <laughs> bitches not only look like niggas. <laughs> hey, uh, one more thing. Uh, Go ahead. What happened last week? Did uh, did Bobby ever get that dude's number that he thought was cute? See, then you know what? We're gonna, Bobby get the dude's number? We're going to go Barney Fife on that one. We're going to nip that shit oh. in the bud. Okay. Because I'm going to tell you right away, man. I got enough trouble okay. with the women problems I got. Okay. To not even try to pretend that I like. You know, so me. let me ask you a question, Bobby. Have you ever found a man attractive? No, in life, never, never. I've never, never seen a dude who wanted to comb his hair. Nothing. No, no, <laughs> Corey. Honestly, I got enough trouble with women <laughs> and my DNA not to ever be interested in a nigga. I just ain't got enough life left. I'm 58 years old. I'm still trying to figure out why I like women. To be worrying about a nigga, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Well, okay. Hey, man, thanks for the right, call, guys. man. Tell your, gra night, man. tell your grandmama to call in. Maybe maybe I might be at the next Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> might be this one. All right, man, later. I don't know why you keep trying to sell me out, man. Shoot. I ain't that motherfucker, Corey. You know that, goddammit. Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you ain't. You ain't sorry for a goddamn thing. Damn. Now, you know what, Poet is? That's some bullshit I right there, Poet. That's Poet is. one way. Poet is just... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to cock block myself with Portis. <laughs> you really are, man. You know. I don't want her to ever give in and, give in and get, get at me. <laughs> we got another call on the line. Hey, this is the Corey Oakham Bootleg 5150 Show. Who may I ask is calling? This so wonder, man. Oh, on? that's my people. Oh, so wonder. Yeah. What up, brother? Man, that nigga made a sacrifice, man. He just got a new job, man, and responsibilities. Come That's on, so we, when we were talking about um, relationships, um, are you ashamed? Have you ever been in a relationship where you ashamed of a person, and if you're ashamed of them, why? My first, my first wife. <laughs> Your first wife. <laughs> How many you didn't have? I was ashamed because of the scars that motherfucker used to put on my body. She used to put her hands on me, and I couldn't do nothing because I was in the army. Oh. Of that big, big head bitch. oh, she used to, she used to, she used to fight you, or she used to sky you up. Did she fuck with you when you would sleep? Some women fuck you up when you sleep. Yeah, she used to jump and try to sit on my face and shit, and try to smother. Me. <laughs> That's, a good, That's no, a good thing. That's a good thing. What are you complaining no. about? Cause that nigga from New Orleans, man, he don't play so that. What that mean? That nigga. Will, they hey. eating pussy in New Orleans. But you got that. The bitch got the ass shit. Got the ass. Yeah, cause a nigga from New Orleans started out fucking. 
good and hard. Bobby ain't talking about shit. Go ahead, Soul One. Yeah, Bobby drunk as Bobby drunk as hell. What I the hell going on? Hey, 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 Soul Wonder. You better yes, act sir. like we done talked on the phone now. God damn it. You know. Yes, sir. Don't bail out on me like that. I, I ain't been on drunk. You even woke me up. You got Miss Soul One over there mad because I'm supposed to be asleep. No, I got to get up and go to work. You the one brought morning. your first wife up. Who the fuck is drunk? He gonna talk over you the whole time he talks so one. Yeah. When he yeah, started he lying, yeah. I'm gonna stop him when he started lying. That's a gladiator. This is a good nigga right here. I couldn't stand that, stand that motherfucker. You know, I couldn't stand it. She was, she was embarrassing. She was just embarrassing because she was wearing my good clothes in public. Can I, I was looking you? like ragged. The bitch was wearing my good clothes. Can I ask you a real question, though? Yes, sir. Did you, did you When she used to sit on your face... Did did you ever go up? Nah, man, no. I I, I suffocate. Your tongue ain't never touch your <laughs> ass up. I was not. I ain't skilled like that. Okay, I'm just making sure. So, one. Thanks for the call, brother. We got we got. I want I want to. Uh, uh, we got we got a, we got another call that I want to get in. ASAP, my man. Hey, hey, brother Hawthorne, are you on the line? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Let, let, let me just let me just say this. I want everybody to know who is on the line right now. We are privileged to to get a call from this um, this brother. This brother is an extraordinary actor, and I'm going to prove to you he is an extraordinary actor because when I say the name, you going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hawthorne is the brother who played Big Red on the Five Heartbeats, hung that goof-ass nigga out the window, <laughs> And told him, my office hours are from <laughs> nine. That motherfucker said nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hang a nigga out the window so bad ever since I seen that shit. I just ain't got no real niggas to do it for me. <laughs> hang a nigga out the window and make him behave. I don't give a fuck if that was a movie. That was real life to me. Hawthorne, what's up? What's up, baby? Man, we sitting up here. I, you know what, Bobby? Bobby be forgetting what he say shit when he say shit. I didn't know that you were from Chicago. Born and raised, I'm a Southside baby. Oh man, this man is from the same place I'm from. And you still keep saying I'm drunk. Fuck you. You are drunk, Bobby. Bobby drunk this motherfucker, Hawthorne. Bobby, <laughs> hey, Hawthorne, I'm from Robert Taylor Holmes. Where you live at on the <clears throat> South Side? 37 Lake Park. Ooh, right down the street, goddammit. You know, that motherfucker's wild as hell over there now. <laughs> you can't even walk down the street over there no more, Hawthorne. It's, I know, man. Oh. That's what I've been told. Them, them boys lost their mind. Man. Out there, man, in Chicago, man, them motherfuckers is crazy, man. Walking down the street on the way he talking about 37 to Lake Park. Oh, Why are you looking at me like I don't know who we talking to? Okay, Bobby. Bobby is in here with his Real Men Don't Play shirt. His book coming out December 20th. So and he in thinking. volume two. He already know it. I knew him before I knew you, Carl. Yeah, you, you ain't gave him no publishing, Bobby. You put that shit out, <laughs> me and Hawthorne both gonna see your ass. <laughs> Where my money at? Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Hawthorne slash Big Red. The question we asked people was, have you ever been in a relationship with somebody you're ashamed of, and why were you ashamed of them? No, man, I don't be in a relationship like that because I can smell it out the first time. I get rid of that shit, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't keep no raggedy shit around you just in case you get thirsty at night? Oh, hell no. <laughs> ain't no way in the world I'm going to do anything like that. I, I ain't built like that, man. I can't stay in no relationship. You know, if, if, I, if I figure out the first night I take her out, she get drunk, I say, nope, I can't deal with no drunk woman. Mm. Oh, shit. Well, see, what a lot of another thing, I want to put this out there, Hawthorne. A lot of people may not know this about you, but you actually have um, put real effort into this acting thing, right? He's yeah, a, a he graduated from Notre Dame. Day, Lots of time, boy. I have all my degrees in theater, and I talk. You know, uh, all kinds of shit, man. People don't understand how hard this is and what you have to do to put it, put the work into it. And still, I'm as old as I am. I'm still paying dues. I'm tired of paying dues. Anybody got a job? Shit. That's they. I, I don't know what the fuck they sleeping on because I'm here to tell you, man. I know. I told you this um, earlier. You know, once I found out you was gonna call in, I, I hey man, you stand out, man. And it's not many people like you when it comes to that camera rolling. Yes. 
and people see you, I promise you, they remember everything you did. And I, you know, no matter what it is, I don't care if, it, if if I'm standing in the background somewhere. When I first started off, I'd be I'd be creating me a whole character, and I'd be so off in the back you couldn't see my ass. I, <laughs> I'd have to I have to look at the movie and say, "Is that me back there?" <laughs> you know, I got me a whole pimp walk. Uh, <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. Tell them how many times my my I got coins right now because when they see you. They see Big Red. And I'm the only Negro that you know that went on, you know, Internet and c- they can read complete sentences. And You ain't take, you ain't talking to them right now, motherfucker. <laughs> see, Bobby that, talking in code, Hawthorne. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, Hawthorne, tell, tell Corey that you invited me to a play where you played Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, been, I've been doing Shakespeare since I was in high school, man. In Chicago, at Hales Franciscan. Damn, you went to Hales. That means y'all had some money. That's a Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Catholic school all my life, man. I went to Holy Angels. Oh, you went to Holy Angels. I went to St. Charles Luanga. Oh, okay. <laughs> my mama um used to take money out of her little aid check. I told her, this is bullshit. Put me back in the public school. These niggas think they better than me in this little puss ass classroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's real talk. Hawthorne, what what is a movie that you probably was in that people may not even know you was in? Oh man, yeah, man I, I hope everybody knows I'm in a, a movie. Uh, everything I do, I don't know, man. Uh, Heaven's Prison of Speed Seven, uh, Color Purple. Uh, what you doing the Color Purple? Yeah, that was my very first movie. What what was you in the uh, was you in that uh, look, uh, Sugar Shack? You on harassing Sug? <laughs> he was doing what? Harassing Sug. Sug Avery. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. He was. He, was, he said some line. It was slick too. Yeah, he said. Yeah. Did he say the bad? They had no lines. They, they, they had no lines. It was me. Uh, it was me. Uh, Ray Drew, Bandini Brown, and and uh, they had. Uh, uh, my, my six of us, they hired to do that, and we had to make up our own lines and shit, man. Didn't want to do say, I drink your bath water, girl. I no, to... drink your bath water, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all shit that they came up with. Oh, yeah, I remember that, man. I remember that part now that you say that. Well, look, man, this is what's up. I want to make sure I'm going to get your number from Bobby, and uh, I want to start reaching out to you more because uh, I want to just start putting some shit together on my own on the film side and i know you know a lot about the business you can you could probably help me out man because we got to do it ourselves and with a lot of these things man because uh waiting on these motherfuckers they don't know who the fuck to fuck with hey, hey, no, hey know, hold on. And, and that's what i've been doing for years now because all i care about is doing my own stuff you know and i always tell everybody i'm very protective of black men and i'm tired of black men looking like dogs Hey, right. I mean, we 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 got the dog, yeah, 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 but we got up, we got the other side too. So, so you know, I've been trying to trying to trying to get my my stuff together. But you have to remember, see, that's another thing people don't know. I was an executive at a major motion picture company. Wow, that was my last nine to five job. After Color Purple came out, I left that job and ain't looked back since. But I learned how to make movies because I worked in post production. I was the head of the post production ancillary market, so I I learned how to make movies as an executive at a, at a film company. Hey, tell them about the movie you, you're working on right now that you took time away from to come on this show. Well, uh, right now we're trying to get, uh, we're working on a film called uh, Fillmore. Oh, which okay. Is, which is about Fillmore Slim, who was a, uh, started off as a blues musician and wound up being the most famous pimp of just about in the world. Oh, that's what's up. Sounds interesting. So we got that bio, but it's it's, a, it's not about pimping. It, it, it's just a film about a man who who made choices in his life. Because his kid from Louisiana, they, his parents had to send him get uh, send him up to San Francisco to live with his sister because he was getting ready to get hung down in Louisiana. Man, seventy seven years old now, and back to playing music. So it's about San Francisco. It's about that whole era of San Francisco. It's about Louisiana. That whole era. And all and everything in between, and how and how your choices affect your whole life. Well, I'm telling you, I'm I'm looking out for it. The name of the movie is called Fillmore. Oh, Fillmore. Yeah, we 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 uh, uh, right now. I finished the script, and uh, uh, and and the executive producer is trying to put all the, all the pieces together right now. But those are kind of things. They got other stuff stuff going on. But you know, I, I you know, Corey, I saw you on. Uh, the other night, I was awake uh, 2 o'clock in the morning sometime. I, was, I, was it the Shaq thing? Yeah, they've been playing that. 
Yeah, and I, I was I was laughing my ass off, man. <laughs> That's, hey, man, when some when certain people tell me they found me funny, I tell the rest of the motherfuckers who say I'm doing something wrong to kiss my ass. <laughs> Hawthorne, we got to get ready to take a break. We appreciate you calling, brother. Um, uh, well, hey, man, y'all sound like y'all having too much fun. <laughs> oh yeah, we up here tripping out, getting drunk in the studio, man. We'll talk to you soon, Hawthorne. Thanks for the call. All right, bro. All right, Corey, I'm going to finish show. We're going to get ready to take a break. The number to call in is 323-965-1600. There go another song by one of them motherfuckers. Hey, what the fuck up with that nigga? Out. <laughs> but them dudes in my crib tonight. <laughs> Johnny Gill in the house. I'm talking shit about the brother. I, let me tell you something about Johnny Gill. That motherfucker had one of the best voices. He, he His voice stood out. He, <laughs> all that shit. Johnny Gill, we, I got love for you, brother. I bought every album you came out with. It's even the latest one. You got this catchy song on there. Girl, I love you just the way you are. That's my shit. Anyway, 5150 Show. Um, all our songs will be by people we think are suspect on the dick booty side of the game. Hey! Oh, shit. Them motherfuckers about to send the mob up here. Check that motherfucker. <laughs> the subject tonight is, are you or have you ever been in a relationship with someone you're ashamed of and why? I started out the show with just one I was ashamed of, the girl who was 26 with five kids. Um, a pussy looked like when you first cut a watermelon over. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn, this motherfucker is wet and sloppy. <laughs> what a mop. <laughs> Had to clean the flow, goddammit. <laughs> I had this other girl, um, she had this, uh, I don't know, it's like some girls that go out to get their hair done and they keep that style too long and they head stink. Mm. <laughs> and I used to want to tell her, baby, your head stank like a motherfucker. Your head stank, bitch. Get that shit taken out. Some girls had the braids, they get them redone and shit. Bobby breathing hard than a <laughs> motherfucker on that mic. I had to turn this mic off. <laughs> Better drink some of that goddamn water. <laughs> that cake and water that you drink. Out of <laughs> anyway, we're going to take some calls. Come on in. Hey, caller, who? what's your name? Who's calling? Yo, what up, man? This is Will from Jacksonville, Florida, man. What it do? What it do, brother? Shit, man. Hey, dog. I know exactly what the fuck you talking about, man. These bitches down to stop you on that bullshit, man. Hey, let me tell you. You hoes out here think because they got a pretty face that they can be fat in the waist and all that bullshit, man. I used to have a relationship like that. I'm drunk that motherfucker right now. You got to forgive nigga. Do your but, thing. Uh, yeah, nigga, man, these hoes motherfuckers think they can be fat and cute in the face and, and get a good nigga out of this motherfucker, man. I'm sexy too, bitch. You know what I'm saying, man? These bitches be down here tripping on that shit, man. Fuck wrong these hoes, man. I had a hoe like that one time, dog. That bitch. No, I swear to God, man. She was like a fool walking around with a dime piece swag. I don't understand that shit because some ass niggas was walking around, sweating this bitch, telling her how beautiful she is. I got that hoe to the crib, man. Took the motherfucking top off. Man, them titties damn near drowned the nigga, man. I don't understand what the fuck wrong with these bitches, man. I feel you, man. I had this um, fat girl, and she used to always brag about her cute face. But I told yeah, her, I said, uh, bitch, your bed looked like a catcher's mitt. That motherfucker had a big-ass dip in it. Come on, man. You spend as much time in the gym as you did in the goddamn mirror. Your ass might be in some goddamn shape. And nigga be presentable from here around your motherfucking ass, man. Right. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed to be out in public with you. I can't take your bitch McDonald's, man. What's, what's going on with on the goddamn menu? Nigga, I'm struggling. The economy fucked up right now. Obama ain't that shit for a nigga. That's what's up, man. Hey, man, so I hope you get some better bitches and um, keep on nigga, drinking got, like me, this, my nigga. I'm, I'm straight now, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, did you, you show in Miami last week? Yeah, yeah. How was that shit? Did you meet up with Jazz and nigga? I heard the show last week. Did you meet that bitch? Jazz ain't come through. She bullshit. That's I was it, looking for her. I had to, <laughs> I had to fuck one of the waitresses like at the club. Shit, <laughs> I, I hate fucking waitresses. <laughs> All they feet smell like celery and root beer. <laughs> 
<laughs> my nigga, though, we're going we gonna to get some more of these callers in. That's what's up. Hey, um, this is Corey Holcomb and Bobby on the 5150 show. What's happening? Who's this? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? This is Travis. Hey, Travis. How are you? Uh, <laughs> hey, I don't like any of the girls I've been with. Like, some people can be with a 10. I'd rather be with two fives, personally. Like, I don't mind being with a big girl. Like, you know, like, they, they be having a good coochie, though, sometimes, so... I'm but not. don't you be embarrassed at the laundromat when you fold up their drawers? <laughs> no, no, because you know, you know, my my dick don't it don't care, you know. So yeah, I know you don't care, but like when people see you folding a fat bitch drawers, they be like, "Oh, motherfucker, you might well take your time and fold up everything." Because hey, I, I just feel like, fucking. hey, but raise your hand if you got some though. So you know, hey. like who's fucking? So hey, Travis, I, I'm gonna give you credit, man. man you are honest, man. You right, got another take. another big thing I like to do is um like a girl with like a nice body but got like something wrong with them. Maybe they got like some acne or they got like a fucked up grill. Like I knew this chick that was on the East Coast when I lived in North Carolina and she had like those little kind of teeth though. But she was but she was like from like like she's like like Israeli or something like that. She had a cold body. I like this teeth you know, look like white castle onion. No, but I was like, man, everybody else not trying to hide it, but fuck it, you know. I know what you mean. I had this bitch with acne. Uh, it looked like she was on her period. If you look in her hamper, all the rags, <laughs> bloody than a motherfucker. <laughs> this bitch had the menstrual face. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for the call, man. For real. Hey, uh, this is the Corey Holcomb fifty one fifty on RMC Radio. Who are we talking to? My name is Iman. Hey, how are you? Hi, Corey. I just want to say you're like one of my favorite comedians because you explain a lot of shit that went wrong in high school. <laughs> <laughs> you say I explained a lot of stuff that did what? Went wrong. A lot of shit that went wrong in my life because I was I was always bullied by girls and I never knew why all these girls wanted to jump jump on me. You were fine. You had to explain one of those shows. You said something. Girls with long hair get jump at the bus stop like that's the story of my life like i was you know like five or six bitches trying to like fight me all at once yeah they were very jealous of you because <laughs> you probably were attractive would you send me a picture of you to my email <laughs> huh she got that ass she um, got that ass man I, what was your name again my name is iman iman are you too shy to send a picture to my email yeah. <laughs> okay, well, get the fuck off the phone. What's the next call? This bitch ain't talking about shit. Yeah! Hey. Give she, a fuck if we can't see what you look like. She might be an ugly bitch. Just no, call it. I wanted to prove that this bitch was attractive. She was. What she a, got a nigga booty. I guarantee you. Okay, Bobby. Hey, this is the next caller. Brother. Oh, hey, hey, what's your name, brother? I will. I will? I will, the artist. What's up, Corey? What's up, Bobby? What's up, artist? What's up? Hey, what it do, man? Shit. Man, we... y'all niggas made my day, man. Y'all answered the phone for me, kid. Fuck, what's happening? Oh, that's what's up, man. We talking about relationships and people you ashamed of and why you ashamed of them. Have you ever been in this situation? Man, recently, Kim Folk. I can't lie. <laughs> what happened? What was wrong? What happened? Man, you ever meet a bitch, got a good job, look like she got some money, dress nice, you go through the crib, look like Katrina hit that motherfucker. Yeah, I already know what you're talking about. <laughs> you got me. This bitch house look like a hero rapper when you too easy. <laughs> what did you say your name was again, brother? Man, I'm I will the artist. I do a little bit of rapping. My, actually, I think I rap my ass off. You feel me? Okay. Now you make sure you write a rap about that bitch right there. Cause but he like, lying though, Corey. Cause that. You know what made him tolerate well, that I got girl? Sorry, Bobby. It was that booty. Bobby is saying. The booty. He sound, you know it. You he know make, it. He make the word booty sound played out. Booty is still relevant. Say booty again, Bobby. Booty. That's why that <laughs> nigga put up with that bullshit, because that girl walked by him, and, man, that nigga got, his dick got harder than times in 29. Bitches with nasty cribs be having good pussy, though. <laughs> Hey, Corey, you said it. I'll be like, damn, I know this bitch pussy is going to be good. Because all her clothes the on the floor. That, <laughs> that good pussy make you lazy. <laughs> and a liar and a cheater. That's what's up, man. Thanks for the call, R. Will. For real. But I appreciate y'all. We appreciate you. All right. Hey, check me out on Facebook and Tumblr. I will the artist. 
I Will the Artist on Facebook. Okay. Y'all go out there and see what our will got going on. Make sure. Cause we done made some people money. famous on this show, man. That bitch last week, Valerie. Oh my God. What happened? You say that bitch got man. Uh, that bitch got her own goddamn. She got sixteen minutes, not fifteen. That minutes. bitch put that preacher out there. <laughs> put his name out there and everything. His name was William. What Something. was his name? William. Oh okay. Bobby don't remember the whole name, but it's all good. Yeah, yeah. We got we got a lot more callers, don't we, Porter? We got to get them in. We want to make sure our callers have a chance to say something so they keep calling back, um, especially now that I done redirected traffic over here to RMC. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Look at this right here. Checking this book. Hey! <laughs> who's on the line? Hello? Hey, yes. baby. How are you? Hey, Corey. What's up? What's, up? What's, up? What's, up? <laughs> What's your name, baby? Lady K. She really is. Lady K. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been in a okay. relationship with somebody you ashamed of? I want to tell you that I found a uh, clip on YouTube when you and D-Ray was on Jerry Springer show. Oh, so shit. Funny. Now I'm about to really get it. <laughs> that Jerry Springer <laughs> shit come back to haunt me again. Hey, give me I, a I, beer, I can man. I to you on Twitter, too. Yeah, yeah, I see a lot of people sending me that clip on Twitter, I, I, but I, I never was ashamed of that shit. Me, when we lived in Chicago, um, this comedian named Damon Williams was telling us how he was going to be on the uh, Jerry Springer show, and they told him to bring some people, so a whole bunch of us, me and D-Ray and everybody, we all went down there, and they asked us to be on the show because we was in the audience tripping on motherfuckers. <laughs> People, you know what? Jerry Springer show would be funnier if they show the people in the audience. It is some raggedy looking motherfuckers in the audience. <laughs> what city you live in, babe? DC. Oh, DC. Oh. How old are you? Twenty-one. Mm. How old is your youngest child? I don't have any children. Oh, that pussy new then. Um. Would you like to um, put a picture of yourself on um, my email? I mean, my, um, my my page, so we can see who we be talking to. Yeah, I'll send it to you on Twitter. Oh, okay. You can send it on Twitter too, or you can send it to a new way to motivate at yahoo.com. Send a picture of yourself. We want to see who we was talking to, so we can um, put you on our board. Callers who have called in. We only gonna put the attractive people on there. <laughs> she gonna she gonna qualify. I know she gonna make it. She twenty one and her pussy ain't been yanked for. Her. <laughs> them kids yank that pussy forward, boy. That pussy look like a toothache when them kids come up out that motherfucker. <laughs> so baby, don't don't forget. Make sure you put that. And my Twitter, by the way, everybody is the Corey Holcomb. The Corey Holcomb on Twitter. Make sure you send that picture, baby, so I can see you. All and right. if you like old folks, it's at Glanton Smith. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, he got the rotary Twitter. <laughs> you can't send no picture unless the phone got the, <laughs> got the little thing you turn for you. <laughs> That's what's up, baby. Thanks for calling. Yes, man. Fuck the shit out. Huh? <laughs> what was that, baby? No. Oh. She anyway. putting it in her bed, man. She ain't shy. I like her. I, I know. know DC, too. <laughs> DC, motherfucker. Them women in DC ain't motherfucking no weak motherfuckers. They gonna say it. That's for sure. They gonna say it. You know why? Right. It's 10 to 1. Oh, yeah, it's 10 to 1. And they got yeah. a lot of motherfucking... Uh, Competition. R&B artists that might be on our <laughs> show tonight. They done gave up hope on them niggas, man. That's why they, they still up... It's 1.30 in the morning, man. What was the name of that party I went to? It was at some hotel, and I couldn't believe it was one of them um, uh, backdoor inner parties uh, with them boys in there. And them boys were sitting there, sitting there. You know, have you ever seen guys sitting there with a beer talking to a girl? That's what dudes was doing. Because, you know, you got to pass through the lobby of the hotel. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Them niggas ain't talking about the game over there. No, because if they were, they wouldn't be in the hotel. They'd right. be in there. He hollering at that nigga. Riding that bitch like Ron Roger Road Trigger. When niggas talk about the game, they be like, yeah, man, I'm telling you, boy, that motherfucker jump out of that motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga was like, so look here, uh, man. <laughs> I can drop you off when I'm through with all that there, yeah, goddammit. I got this uh, dookie proof uh, dookie proof soap in here. You know, no matter what I smell like, you ain't gonna smell like that. 
<laughs> Dookie Boo So. Anyway, and we got the call on the line. Hey, what's up? This is the Corey Oga 5150 Show. For what's real. up? Talk to us. Yo, what up, Corey? This is Jake Nan. Hello? Hey, what's up? Who this? Yeah, can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah nigga. Yeah, motherfucker, say something. Yeah. Yeah. This is first the time calling. I'm calling out from Ohio. I'm just truck driving in Baltimore, Maryland right now. Oh, Baltimore. But, uh, Baltimore yeah, dangerous, man. man. But, Corey, first thing I got to, what, what, first first things first, man. Well, um, I only look, so uh, listening to you in uh, Foxhole, and since that shit is up, I ain't even going to be fucking with it no more, man. Fuck that shit. That's bro. what's up, man. Thanks for the loyalty, yeah, yeah. man. Tell them people to suck dick and die with their little subscription. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and on on this topic, what I was gonna say is, um, I'm not proud of this bitch that I just bought some pussy off a uh, back page in Baltimore. This bitch had me cross the fucking bridge, make me pay twenty dollars. You fucking bitch, Chloe. That's her name. Her name was Chloe. Was, was the pussy any good? Hell no, hell no, it wasn't good because she posted on, she photoshopped that shit, man. Fuck that. <laughs> that bitch ain't look like a picture, that. did she? <laughs> bitch charged me a hundred dollars plus that fucking bridge was like twenty dollars. Oh, you had to pay the toll. You had to cross the bridge, pay the toll. That's what you're saying. I had to pay twice. Though. That's what I'm saying. Like I had to go into Baltimore, pay twenty dollars once you not the bridge, the tunnel. You know the uh, that tunnel. I know what you're talking I'm about. Nice. That ain't yeah, fair. You pay twenty dollars <laughs> going in and twenty dollars coming out. So it was actually one forty. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's fucked she up. fucked me up. I'm putting her black. Her name is Chloe. Chloe. She's Puerto Rican. Hey, She's Puerto you... Rican on back page, and she don't look like because that's false advertising. Put that bitch out there. <laughs> that picture is photoshopped, ain't it? Decepticon. Bitch is a Decepticon. Decepticon <laughs> Chloe. Where Everybody you... go on backpage.com. You go to escorts. In Baltimore, and when Chloe, you see Chloe, Chloe, she's Puerto Rican. Chloe, Puerto Rican. I'm letting all you back page bitches know. You better not be fooling my guys. You can't overcharge for pussy, and you don't look like the bitch. Hey, where you from, brother? <laughs> All right, sir. You'll take care of that. All right, man. Way to ignore Bobby. You did just like I did. <laughs> no, that nigga, that nigga needed some help, man. That nigga not from America, man. I heard it his accent. It don't matter. We all it buy do. pussy. You've been in no, your whole life and no, you bought pussy. No, I ain't got that kind of money, Corey. You don't pay with money. You pay with your heart. No, no, you got money, Corey, because you done been on television and And it's shit. the best instance I got. I ain't got no money like that, but I got enough money to pay them back page bitches. I can't afford that shit. I got to tell a bitch. I'm going to buy you some pussy as long as you let me videotape I'm going to take it. the money in my pocket, goddammit, and pay my motherfucking rent. I ain't going to give you the money. I'm going to give the money to her. <laughs> Bobby, I'm going to stop speaking to you. If you give a bitch some money I need to stay out of the goddamn street with, fuck you. Next week. I need some help. I don't need no motherfucking nigga that's my friend helping a bitch out. He want me to do what he want me to do with my money. No, I need to The fuck you is you do... talking about? If you ain't got nowhere to live, that's yeah, You're going to get some pussy, though. No, I, that shit ain't going to keep me from freezing. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> next week we are about to take advantage of these little pussy-ass cameras that they got up in here. We are paying a back page, bitch. To fuck Bobby in front of us no. at this studio. Are you willing to do it, Bobby? No, I'm gonna take the money. Bobby do don't want nobody you. looking at him fuck. That's no, all it is. No, I need to pay my goddamn rent. I'm two months behind right now. Okay. <laughs> How so, much is your rent, Bobby? It don't matter. <laughs> that means he is it's too embarrassed not. to say how much his rent is. Because I'm behind. How the fuck are you behind and it's so low? You because scared to I say need it. some help from my friend. I don't need no nigga helping no bitch out. Okay. I well, need a nigga helping Don't worry about me what out. I do with the back page bitch. <laughs> if you fuck her, I will catch you up on your rent. But now, you gotta we fuck talk her. about that. You got to fuck her on camera in front of everybody, Bobby. I have no problem with that part. We got the show of the year next week. <laughs> <laughs> Let everybody know. RMC, I'm expecting y'all to put this shit on your air. I'm going to catch Bobby up with his rent. That's going to probably cost me about $300, $400. <laughs> $300? We yeah. live in LA, Okay, nigga. six months behind. It's going to cost me $500 <laughs> to get Rob Bobby on his feet. 
<laughs> and I'm going to do it. But he got to fuck the bitch <laughs> in front of everybody. Like you, Roy Roger Road Trigger. We ain't got to look at you. you catch me up on my rent. You could pull your pants down in the front. And man, I ain't going to have no from problem. The, back. <laughs> the church people that I used to show be. Show them what the table standing. is right there, Porters, with the camera. They ain't got to show me nothing. You well, know that's what we used what to do? Gonna be. Back in the 60s, we used to tell them hoes. Take so a we, bath before the show, we Bobby. We used to have to lie to them hoes to get some pussy. See, you niggas that came behind us is fortunate. <laughs> These sorry-ass hoes would get y'all some pussy just because y'all famous. We used to have to compete for pussy. <laughs> Bobby. We used to have to tell a bitch, put your feet on the rock and what show me your cock. <laughs> no, we didn't even know that a cock. Wait, did, no, did you folk, say put your foot on the rock and show a cock? Because that's what we You call, was fucking transvestites, nigga. No, that's, that's, that's the difference between you our You was age. fucking B. Scott, no, nigga. No, no, that's how young this nigga <laughs> is. In 1965... Cock was pussy in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. We don't know nothing about that. A cock is some oh. shit you fuck a bitch with. No, that's in your era. No, ain't Young no ass era. Nigga. In your era. If we got an elderly nigga up listening, please call in and say and you know anything about a cock being some the pussy. The phone get ready to blow up. Because any nigga that'll tell the truth and shame the devil. Bobby, no. Bobby Before used this, to fuck this, with them this, boys. This <laughs> Long what? as he ain't see the dick, he no, had a, them transvestites no, had that no, whole no, sack no, take no, down. No. It looked like a fat pussy. It hurt me to shit. Actually, right it's now. a ball sack with no nut in if it. If I eat some some beef, it hurt me to shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, you might not have And that's it, why I quit eating beef, cause you got to grunt and and read a newspaper and all that shit. See, but it'll hurt I more that shit up and start eating vegetables and drinking conga water, that shit runs straight out my ass. <laughs> With all that smoke from them fifteen hundred <laughs> cigarettes a day that your ass smoke. This is the healthiest <laughs> black kidney having <laughs> What go bad when you smoke? It's the kidneys, right? Lungs. The lungs. Hey, hey you know this what? nigga lungs look like a matted out photo Porsche. Okay, now he's a better joke teller. <laughs> but if they train them, 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 them cameras that y'all looking at right now on both our bellies, that'll starve. That'll starve the, the mystery. I got a gut. That nigga look like he's seven months pregnant. I got a gut. This nigga lungs and my, and my stomach, look like the grill when you get stomach, through cooking that meat on it. My stomach is flat as day old beer. But his his lungs is black as motherfucking uh, soot. We got any callers because the men this nigga ain't good to fall out over this bullshit. Okay, <laughs> Bobby, get your ass, buddy. Anyway. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is the Corey Holcomb Fifty One Fifty Show with his job interview voice. What's going on? Hey, this is Deuce from New York. Hey, what's, what's up, part? Deuce? What borough? Uh, Brooklyn. All right, I'm we cool with Brooklyn that. Brooklyn in the house. What's up, what's man? Up? Brother. Bobby drinking, Bobby drinking moonshine like a motherfucker on that well, show. Well, at least you know where I'm from because I know where you from, nigga. You from Fort Hamilton. Nah, nah, from downtown Brooklyn. Well, then you but, a um, sophisticated nigga. <laughs> but, Corey, yo, when you come to New York, man, you funny as a motherfucker. Man, you know what, man? These promoters going to get it together next year. Um... I got um I got I got a whole new calendar coming out this year. I hope New York is on there because I haven't been there in a while. Yeah, man. I mean, I know your comedy's on point. I would love to just see you on and uh and, and you know stand up and just to see the the audience's expression when you do your thing, man. Well, well, who, you, well who are you gonna bring to the show? You gonna bring your woman or your side bitch? <laughs> nah, I can't bring no girl to the show. They're fucking. They'll they'll, they'll be up on game if I bring them to the show. Right. I gotta keep them stupid. <laughs> I'm getting to think you gay. Bobby no, drunk. Day, Bobby drunk. He don't know what. He trying to crack jokes and he ain't working. Look at that face. Is that face on there? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said he ain't gonna bring his woman or his side bitch. He don't want to bring no girls because he don't want them up on game because he fuck bitches on the ignorant side of the game like we all prefer to. Bitches exactly. who are smart. Well, ask you questions, make you slack the shit out there, motherfucker. ass. <laughs> you gonna ask me and shit, who is this? This is my wife, bitch. What the fuck you mean? That ain't got nothing to do with her. <laughs> That's right. what's up. Thank, Thank you, for, you call, for calling, brother. brother. Uh, Portis done put a note in front of you. Can you read that shit? We're gonna take this call or we're gonna take the break? 
We're going to take this call. Is the caller on? Hey, what's up? This is the Corey Holcomb and Bobby Glanton, 5150 bootleg, um, only version of the show. <laughs> After we, tonight, we yeah. We cussed them fruit booty motherfuckers <laughs> out over there. <laughs> Put their hands on blast. Come on, let me, nigga. I'm right here. Anyway, what up, man? Who this? Hey, yo, Corey. What it do, my nigga? What's up, OG Bobby? Hey, man. Where you calling from? Hey, um, hey yo, this, um, this McQuinn, man. I'm calling from Palmdale. Oh, That's okay. What's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, We were talking shit about the Lakers and shit last week. I had called. Oh, but, um, okay. Yeah. But first off, hey, one thing I hate though, man, when you try to get at them earthworm gym looking bitches, right? And then, <laughs> and then you try to act, I try to act all funny on that bullshit, like, oh, I don't get down like that. It's like, bitch, what you, you mean? The whole, you fuck the whole team, like you fuck the whole football team, the whole basketball team. Right. I had a bitch like that used to talk about. Um, I'm not eating healthy, but I know four niggas that hit a row. Right. They be on some old funny fuck ass shit. Right, it's like the foxhole. They be on that funny fuck shit, huh? Yeah, they on that funny hey, fuck shit. Did you did you used to live in L.A.? Did you, did, did you, did you, did you. Yeah, cause it took me a minute to get the, the sentence together. Cause I finished school, nigga. You know, Bobby, you went and disappeared for a minute. Are hey, you no, sure no, you drunk? Um, I, I was smoking. Navy, man. I'm in college, so. Right. He got, did you? Yeah. This did is a young you man. Used to live in Los Angeles. That was my question. Yeah, I, I, I grew up in Watts. Yeah. See that? That's all I was asking because you niggas <laughs> okay. ran out of here thinking that white folks wasn't gonna come back to L.A. and buy your house, and now you out there can't afford gas to get back to this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, that's what I that's what I took off the military for, man. He's, in the, he's in the military. He's a young man, Bobby. This man is working on his future. And once you get yourself straight, because I know you're going to get straight, brother. Um, if you ever marry a woman, make sure she signs a prenup to say, <laughs> bitch, get the fuck out. That's all I want on oh, there. Sign online, under that. I got that on lock, my name. That's what's up. Hey, I got another question, though, for you, Corey. Go hey, ahead, um, brother. When you going to do another show in L.A., man? I'm trying to come out and see you, man. I'm trying to take my girl so she can just. You Look, know what, man? I did this show at no. the Nokia with Kevin Hart, and everybody asked me, when am I going to do another show in L.A.? The thing is, the promoters, they they sometimes they try to get me on shows, but like when other guys are on the show, they don't want to work with me because they, they scared, and that's the truth. Oh, they be on that old Hollywood bullshit? Them motherfuckers don't want you to see me and then see them. That's what it is. Oh, because they know you're going to shut this shit down, and by the time they get up there, they're going to be like, oh, that's Corey right. already killed it. I swear that's over. it. That's it, brother. I swear that's it, man. But some shit coming through, man. I'll be talking to, uh, I've been talking to some guys with a different agenda, and um, this year we're going we, we gonna to do some things in L.A., man. Hey, for sure, man. Hey, but keep that shit 100, though, my nigga. I love your comedy. I love your work, man. Okay, we're, we're rubbers with all healthy bitches, and I'm going to holler at you. All right, for sure, man. That's what's up. This is the Corey Oakland 5150 Show. We're getting ready to take a break. The number to call in is 323-965-1600. Call in. Tell me what's on your mind. Another fruit booty a artist in the house. Hit it. My room before you came. Excuse the mess it made. It usually doesn't rain in Southern... Okay, we're back on the line, and the only reason I'm talking is because Corey's talking to the great Jim Brown not right now because Jim don't want to talk about no bullshit. And so Corey's going to get back on right now because he said I'm drunk. Let me tell you what Bobby motherfucking ass do. This motherfucker, you know, I met Jim Brown through Bobby. So Bobby is the type of motherfucker. He'll have a phone. He'll be already be talking to somebody, and then just give you the phone. Hey, here go Jim Brown. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sitting up here doing this radio show about some. I'm talking about some shit that I know Jim wouldn't want to be associated with like that because. No, nah, he would talk about that. You just, you just well, didn't, you didn't well, trust I just it. talked to Jim. I just talked to Jim. And Jim said that not. that You know, he's not in the mood for that. It's goddamn 10 30 at night. Jim is not at the stage of his life where he want to put bitches on blast. <laughs> but he won't. He ain't got no problem with that. Well, if a bitch do something to him, he'll put it on blast. But he just ain't gonna get on the phone out the blue and put no bitch on blast. Bobby, Bobby, you don't know that nigga like I know that nigga. You just you did what you do. You showed him respect because you just said, "Look, Bobby just gave me the phone, and uh, 
talk about them bitches and then go to the American program. And then Jim will be looking at me like I'm one of them goofy, no, pesky no, ass niggas no. who will call him with no, some fucking shit like, like beer. that. Uh, we drinking beer, right. God damn it. Just move it. No, the Isn't truth the is what happens when you get drunk. No, we going to block the beers till we get a sponsor, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, hey, whatever beer company wants to be a sponsor for us, just think we could be sipping your shit like this the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> So what did Jim say when you told him that? That's between me and Brother Jim. Me and Brother nah, Jim. he trying to be personal and shit. That's my man. I met Jim Brown. You know, I you didn't know, know why him. Jim Brown likes Corey Holcomb? Because I told Corey when he went up to Jim Brown, I said, Corey, I ain't going to lie to you, man. He going to wonder why I, I brought you up here. And I told Corey, I said, tell him who you are. Now, he going to do that bullshit, but you niggas listening out here, y'all need to understand. If you ever meet Jim Brown... You better tell him what you mean and mean what you fucking say. And that's what Corey did. And that's, that's why, why you like got the Corey. picture of you and Jim Brown on your Twitter, right? You goddamn right. Because if it wasn't real, I had to take that motherfucker down. That was up. Hey, so look here. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is Bobby talking about? We're going to have to put Bobby on uh, drunk probation. <laughs> get Bobby committed. Like, the, you ever... ever Oh, that's one thing we could do with our show, because we're gonna find a way to take this show on the road, and or, or at least just um, even if yeah. we have to show it. I want to go to one of them places where they take motherfuckers who just can't stop drinking and just talk to these motherfuckers. See, you know, and what? let's hear the, let's hear what really happened. Yeah. Fuck that nigga and the horse he rode in in here on. Okay, this nigga, my friend, I, he said I was gonna say it again. Yeah, you gonna keep saying it? You drunk? <laughs> no, the truth is a motherfucker. Bobby got on a T-shirt that he washed and didn't iron. <laughs> <laughs> they can see it. I hope they can read it. Real men don't play. If you think I'm playing, read my goddamn book that'll be out next month, December 20th. White folk gonna read it for you niggas do. And we ain't gonna even say nothing. We just gonna, on the 20th, we gonna be like, um... It's out, and uh, goddamn, that nigga wasn't bullshit. Hold on, what we finna... Hold on, let me look at this calendar. Okay, the 20th falls... A month from the day. Oh, you... Oh, no, hold on, you fucked up. The 20th falls... If you think falls, I'm playing, go to realmendontplay.com. Okay, the 20th then falls... Then holler at Corey. I only wanna hear from your ass. The 20th falls on a Thursday, so that... Now, Tuesday is Christmas, mm -hmm. so we can't bust him out that Tuesday. Now, you ain't going to be able to bust me out. You're going to be able to say, God damn, I'm glad that nigga was right. I'm going to tell you what people are looking for. They're looking for the truth. They're looking for the truth. And that nigga there that I'm pointing at right now for you niggas that's got screens is the truth. Because he my friend. You know how many comedians want to be on this microphone? All right. We didn't. We didn't pass that. We didn't. No, come on. Go Porter, back to the lost count party. No, I didn't. Who's on the radio? Talk to some callers. God damn it. Some callers. Oh, man. Okay, Bobby. Go ahead. Hey, who's on the line? This is Corey and Bobby. Hello. Must be a shy motherfucker. Go to the next What's up, one. Corey is Glenn, man. Oh, hey, Glenn. How are you? I'm good, man. We went to sin together, dog. Which Glenn? We went to sin. What's your last name? Glenn Clark, man. Glenn Clark. Hold on, I'm trying to remember. Hold on, Glenn Clark. Glenn Clark. Did you play uh, sports? Man, uh, football. Uh, Randy Crawford Underwood. Uh, GD. I know you're dropping all the names. I know there's somebody who I know. I just got to see the picture. Glenn. Oh, don't even trip, fam. We family. It's all good, God damn it! What's up, man? You still living the 4-8? Oh, you know the deal. I think I know who this is. I'm just not 100% sure. You, yeah, you live in 4848. Man, we was, uh, the last time you was in the shop, uh, you, you fucked with, uh, Underwood. I know who the yeah. fuck this is. Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, fam, you, you know what it is. Do your thing, man. But real, real talk, two quick things, man. Go ahead, what's man. What's Eileen and them titties? Darlene, um, we we I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get Darlene um, back, but she may come back. Darlene was um, having a problem with that foxhole bullshit. Them motherfuckers and they and they paper wasn't straight no more. So Darlene said, "Well, she's not the type to say fuck this bullshit." She just bowed out gracefully, but I know in her heart she was like, "Fuck this bullshit." I can find something better. These goof ass niggas like this titty. 
Exactly, exactly. I know what it is, fam. And, 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 and that's the second thing. What the fuck happened over at the Foxhole, man? And, and that's all I wanted, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, man, it's, I'm happy to say to motherfuckers, I know that motherfucker. I went to, I went to Sam with him. I, I went to high school with this motherfucker. Do you, Smooth? That's what's up, and, and, and what happened? What happened over there at the foxhole is a whole lot of insecurity hit the boiling point. That's really what it was. So, like I said, I wish the foxhole the best with they, um, or whatever the fuck direction they go after this. Um, I think they're gonna go in the back door direction. But I'm just saying, um, <laughs> they show you know, a foxhole was a, a foxhole was an avenue for me to. Um, express myself so I, I I do have love for the foxhole I just hate the bullshit went down like that where as far as it go motherfucker wasn't hollering at me on the 100 shit so Glenn you um stay over there on that if you'd like to make a oh Glenn hung the fuck up on me <laughs> <laughs> I think I used to fuck Glenn bitch in high school and shit <laughs> That's why I was kind of playing it off and shit. I knew who he was in the beginning. I thought he was going to bring up Veronica. Oh, man, shit. If you're listening, Glenn, I did fuck the shit out of Veronica <laughs> raw. <laughs> I was too frantic. I was like, you, ain't you Glenn? Get up here. He was like, fuck that nigga. I was like, well, fuck it. If you don't give a fuck, oh, I don't give a fuck. Let me see you pussy. Ain't no bumps. Oh, okay. man. Let me finger fuck it and spell my finger. Okay, you straight. Hey, Corey, I got a question. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Go ahead. Uh, what is about this light skin, red skin hat nigga that still got that bandage on his head from three weeks ago with that bitch busted? I his think Bobby. Head? Hey, what's your name again, brother? He gonna tell you because you gave him a pass. Sonny. Yeah. I think Bobby is attracted to Sonny, <laughs> and I'm not saying Bobby is Bobby is normally gay or nothing, but most most of the time when Bobby. <laughs> Talk about anybody, he says, yeah, that dude over there, uh, that dude over there. But with you, Glenn, he keep uh, I, describing I you. Light skin. This supple nigga over nah, here. No, I said, <laughs> my question is to the listening audience, because Corey is playing too fast with this brother. TDP in here, we laughing like, <laughs> Corey, Corey gave this a nigga a pass he wouldn't give me. Corey told all my business to everybody all over the world, but he keep getting this light skinned nigga with this. That nigga still got that same patch on his nah, eye. Nah, nah, he's giving you the pass because you can defend yourself. I'm not on there, so I can't really, really speak on it. Well, nobody knows who he is. <laughs> so, oh, did, I'm sorry, did he say his name? So nah, he didn't do that. Okay, good. Nah, no, I said it. Oh, what yeah. did you say? Sonny? Yeah, Sonny. Nah, you, Sonny you, who? you still don't want to talk about your situation you're in, I'm right? I'm not talking about whatever. It's, it's... Really? Yeah, but I'm not. You guys are doing your thing. No, nah, you're right. The court hold case on, was on. last week. He right, said no, the court case. On. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is another yet another light skinned nah. brother who got <laughs> jumped on by his woman. <laughs> Statistics show women swing on light skinned niggas before they swing on dark skinned <laughs> niggas. Supple niggas. Is that what you want? Niggas who it looked like it'll show up on his jaw quicker, nigga. Uh, this brother was the victim of domestic violence. Um, from a woman who looked at him and sized him up and felt like she could swing on him. Um, Fucked him up, man. And, and he had a court case last week, right? And he said got the bandage on. Yeah. Do you still live with her? No. You moved out? I see a ring on your left hand. <laughs> nah, nah, that's just, nah, that's just a regular oh. ring, regular ring. So you not fucking with her no more? It didn't work uh, out. I, I it mean, didn't work out. We We hung out the night after the court case. But you and have that, it? And that morning. Have you fucked somebody else since nah, you uh, nah, had her? Nah, she's the last person I fucked. He wouldn't put that shit out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, swear, I, I, swear, I swear. See, I know the questions to ask. Nah, nah, nah. You I, fucking I would actually, with no. a real nah, veteran nah, nigga. I would, I, I, would actually be, I would actually be honest about it. I'd no, you wouldn't. For the first time. Men don't time. tell the truth about their dicks. I, no, I would tell the truth. I would tell, I would tell the truth. I would tell the truth. Now, you'll tell the truth now. He's yeah. a young man, yeah, by no, the way, would, also. Here's, a, here's yeah. the thing. I'm not back up to full strength. So once I get back to full strength. Emotionally. I might yeah. I might, yeah. I might test the waters. But right yeah. now, I'm not yeah. There was a comic okay. in Chicago. His name was Michi. And this was, and I didn't like him because he was a real hack. He was a joke thief. And <laughs> let me tell you something about my God. God <laughs> will give you gifts. <laughs> If you just be patient and believe in him, because Michi was fucking this girl, and obviously something went wrong where she got mad at Michi, comic from Chicago, Michi, 
And she, while a comedy show was going on at this club called Riddles, she went through every car that was out there <laughs> and put a note on there saying, I'm not with Michi no more because this nigga tried to fight me because I wouldn't put my finger in his ass. <laughs> right. That made me so happy and confirmed my belief in God. Because I needed a miracle. And when that bitch, I don't even know who you are, bitch, but I appreciate that. You got some pussy that night, didn't you? Oh, I was so happy. I was walking around with a glow on my face as this bitch put this motherfucking dookie digging motherfucker on blast. This nigga like his motherfucking um, shithole clean. <laughs> <laughs> Thoroughly. <laughs> or he will fight a bitch that he fucking with. <laughs> well, you know what? I got to give Sonny credit. Oh, because... I thought you was going to say you had your ass all clean. <laughs> you keep trying to take I me I was there. asking. You the one who said the light-skinned nigga at first? He, but he fessed up tonight. He suffered. He begged us to not to put him on the radio because he needed to go to court. What, it was last Friday? Yeah, it was Friday. He made it through the court. Okay. Then no, nah, I mean I didn't even go. I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't even. I didn't even go. You I didn't, didn't go. <laughs> I, nah, I, I put it like this. I just. I just chalked it up as a loss. I wasn't. I mean, I don't need somebody to have a. Do you walk know how in. many men have been put in jail <laughs> for nothing, <laughs> and you let us all down by letting this bitch off the hook that right crossed your head. <laughs> Well, you, you still got the bandage on, man. You still got that baby band-aid on. Nah, nah, but I, I'll be taking it off soon. I'll be taking you it off. You know soon. your skin is the type of skin, like, when you get slapped, people know it. <laughs> this motherfucker's skin is like, um, God damn it, TDP, give me one, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Crochet paper. Crochet paper. <laughs> it's the third week this nigga done had on, it's like he just got back from Afghanistan. Yeah, he do look like a little soldier and yeah. he survive. But the bitch knocked the fuck, you know what? It was his own watch. He got a beautiful watch on. <laughs> Do you have other hoes besides the bitch that did that to you? Nah, I put it shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait. See, me, I know that bitch let listening me, too. Let me explain, let That's me why I put them on the nah, spot. Let me, let me explain. Let me explain. Nah. Okay, in, in most of my past relationships, I haven't been as faithful as I guess you need to be. So this time I gave it a try. And Have I was you like, ever been married? Nah. We well, don't own no bitch shit. Nah, but nah, nah, let, let me explain. I was trying to figure out if it was me. Like, or uh, if if they were just all crazy, and I realized that it wasn't me, because I, I I I was well behaved this past time around. No, nah, you was what always you was well behaved. behaved. I was well behaved. Like I, I didn't. You just I didn't know who the fuck no, you no, were. I didn't cheat at all. I didn't cheat at all. I got accused of cheating every single day, but I Have didn't. Have you cheat at ever all. fucked a girl with your dick that you just got out of another girl the same day? Yeah. You ever fucked two girls? Yeah, the same I used to day? that all the time, but I don't do that anymore. Right. You, and you see, need to go back well to it. We heard poets say, damn. <laughs> but here go the bullshit. Nah, watch this no, bullshit in, right here. In Virginia, it's comedy. No, in this ain't you. Watch this. Right. Poetess, have you ever fucked two dudes in the same day? No. Lying, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Acting like that pussy sacred. I want to see that motherfucker. I can tell when I look at a pussy. And I do look at pussies with the lights on. <laughs> I, I check panties too, goddammit. I don't know why a lot of guys don't check panties. Oh, boy. This one girl, her thong was four pounds, all that crust and shit that was in that motherfucker. I said, bitch, I'm lifting weights with your drawers over here. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Do you steal Twinkies, bitch? What the fuck is all this? Oh, man. Anyway. You know what? I'm going to leave that alone because uh, this brother finally admitted, I'm proud of you, Sonny. Appreciate it, appreciate because it. you were still believing in Santa Claus a couple of weeks ago when you was protecting that bitch when she would have had your ass in jail if the shoe was on the other foot. True, true, true. But I'm, I'm yeah. Sonny, first of all, let me tell everybody. Sonny's a uh, young man. He go. doesn't know how cruel this world can be. <laughs> he doesn't know the danger he's in. But Sonny will be taking that photo <laughs> where you stand in the front holding that slate, and then you turn to the slide, the side, and hold that slate. And after that, he will realize how cold this world is, because it's going to be a bitch he ain't even do nothing to. I, I didn't do anything to this one. No, 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 I swear to God, I swear, I swear. And you still I, don't get it. No, 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 but I do. It. I get it. I've learned, I've, I learned my lesson. I, I've learned my I lesson. I agree, because you came on the air. I yeah, believe I that he didn't lesson. do nothing to her because this is the truth, and I want somebody to study this and bring these facts to me. I, will, I just want to prove it because I know it in my heart. Light-skinned guys... <laughs> 
get swung on by women <laughs> more than dark skinned guys. This is a fact. Unless, they don't have that fear. They don't have that fear. Unless you're a hobbit. What is a hobbit? A hobbit is guy black. Oh, yeah. No, guy black. <laughs> no. Short guys are in more physical altercations with women than big guys. Guy black then had to swing <laughs> on thousands of bitches that well, he, he had to use, paid to be in relationships. He had to him. use an implement. And for you niggas that didn't finish school, an implement is a baseball bat uh, shovel. Okay. I thought that's what a girl put in her vagina when she got a yeast infection. <laughs> that's a supplement? An uh, implement. Oh. Uh, that's when you need some help. Well, we're going to take this next call and see what the fuck they got to say about this bullshit we talking tonight. Um, and by the way, the 5150 show will be changing to 6 o'clock Pacific time next week. We want everybody to get used to hearing us at 6 o'clock as we has gangsta, if we ha- if we have gangstered somebody's spot. <laughs> fuck that soft shit. Get your pussy ass out of here. Anyway, caller, what's up? Hello? Hey, yes. what's up, brother? This is the 5150 show. Talk to us. Good call. Next call. Is the next caller on? We tried to get you on, brother. Really, we did, next man. Next time you get a chance. Speak um, up. Speak up. Um, you made me feel like... Um, I, we supposed to I, wait on you. Now I know how this bitch was feeling when my dick was hard. <laughs> but she had... Um, that skin peeling on the bottom of her foot and I ain't want to say nothing. I just act like it was my fault. This old gator feet bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Call her. Go ahead. Hey, this Otis from Texas. Okay, Otis Otis from Texas. How are you? What's up? What's up, Corey? What's up, OG? uh, Glanton? Yes, sir. (laughs) Okay, I got a little story. All right. I fucked this one bitch. Uh, think about it. She wasn't ugly, but she was a burn victim. Like she, she, she got burned as a child. I've so, had one too. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, like, I ain't gonna say she ugly because that's really fucked up to say. But you know, like, start, like side of her forehead was burned up. Her shoulders were a little burned. Her back, all that. Yeah. So like, I, I gave, I gave her some mercy, dick. You know no, what I'm saying? Like, well, that bitch had a booty that made your dick hard. Talking, Bobby. But the Go nigga ahead, lying. brother. That bitch had a booty that made that nigga dick hard at times in 29. Go ahead, brother. We sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I didn't, I hit it, you know, and I was hitting it for a while and then for a while. So, but I don't know. I guess, like, it's not like I was feeling bad for her. It's just she gave good dome. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, she, she could work that dome now. Let so me ask you a question. Um, when she sweat, did her skin stink? No, <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, nah, her skin, her skin did wrinkle, which is kind of but right. Hey, I feel you. I had a bitch who had her fingers. Um, her hand was in a uh, bad burn accident, and she was giving me a hand job. I was like, "God damn, bitch! This shit feel like a lobster rub." <laughs> Uh, now, uh, hey, oh, OG, second question. Uh, y'all were talking about light skin niggas swing on girls. I'm light skin. I ain't never swung on a bitch. Ever. No, we I swung that, on dudes. No, you didn't hear what Corey said. You didn't hear what he said. You done had to duck from a uh, a bitch that swung on your light skin ass. No, I, I never played it like that. It never got to that situation with girls. I control them with their mind. I ain't never had a. They ain't never had to put hands on me. I never had to put hands on them. Well, you must have good hair. How tall are you, sir? No, I'm six, about six two. Oh, okay. You know, one ninety. You know, like. Yeah, them bitches were scared of you. <laughs> I'm listening to your voice. And you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm always like, this motherfucker is a killer. <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy. This motherfucker will kill me. Okay. I stand I'm going to eat your baby. Anyway. <laughs> I right, 51, Hey, man, thanks for calling, Thank brother. You so Real much. talk. Yeah. We appreciate it, man. Um, it, is thanks- it is Thanksgiving Day. In two days, um, if you have the time, go visit your people. And um, there used to be a song where the rapper said, have you ever went over a friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? I mean, the macaroni soggy, the peach, all that shit. If you have a spouse that is insistent that you go to their 
people house and the food nasty than a motherfucker. I want you to take this Thanksgiving to say, Corey Hogan from the 5150 show said, bitch, you can't cook. <laughs> bitch, you can't cook is rarely said, but it needs to be said more because I have gone over some people house who obviously don't have a direction book in their motherfucking life. Thanksgiving is a time where people should be happy to see each other. I shouldn't have to swallow this bullshit that you put together in this stanky ass <laughs> kitchen. Well, as soon as you cut off the light, 1,500 gangbanger roaches <laughs> is looking for anything to suck on. <laughs> you know what, Corey? I, I'm going to do the listening audience a favor. We drunk. But it's worse than that. And it's better than that. Corey Holcomb has been working on an album because he's been hiding a voice <coughs> that produced several uh, tracks. When I hmm. heard him, amazed me. This brother got a CD that he need to finish that you would want to have in your collection. What's the name of that CD, Corey? <laughs> Are you going to act shy now? Yeah, I'm going to act shy. Well, okay. When I release it, then people go fuck with it because I, I, yeah, it was, I had some technical difficulties um, with my music guy. This motherfucker, I let him drive my car and he put $1,500 <laughs> worth of tickets on the motherfucker. So I had to let that die down in my heart because I was going to kill this little nigga. I asked the nigga, you ain't getting no tickets, man. I ain't getting no tickets. All of a sudden, them motherfuckers start coming in the mail like, God damn it. Right. <laughs> like, like foxhole checks. I ain't for $12, so send that nigga 18 of them. <laughs> so, now Ooh. that me and the little nigga didn't get our shit together. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm going to let this nigga get back to finishing up this CD. But that was the delay on that. I thought I was going to kill this little nigga. Man, this nigga let me listen to it because... I done said friend many times tonight. And since I am Corey's friend, he let me listen to the shit that he did. And I'm like, God damn, man, when this shit coming out, man? He said, man, I'm about to kill this nigga. <laughs> I said, oh, That's what's fuck. Up. <laughs> All right. Oh, what we got? We got any callers? Yeah, we got one caller in the queue. Let's let's see what this caller has to say. Is this Jay Nasty? Oh, no, this ain't Jay Nasty. This is Phil Kid from Jersey, man. What's going on, Corey? Oh, man, what's it's, up? What's it's, up? It's, 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 it's two o'clock in the morning. Three. It's Ill yeah, man. Jersey. I don't have no work in the morning, man. I'm chilling. That's what's up, brother. What's going on, man? You heard the shit we've been talking on, about. Man, on that topic tonight, man, yo, you ever had a girl with a big ass sloppy mouth? Like yeah. that the head is banging, but they kiss you, you got slob on your ear and shit. Right, wet mouth bitch. <laughs> yeah, uh, extra fucking wet mouth. Yeah, that shit is crazy, you know what y'all talking about. But yeah, that, that's what I thought about when y'all, you know, was talking about that subject and shit. Them bitches gotta buy new pillows once a month. <laughs> them wet mouth bitches. <laughs> them bitches' Word, pillows man. be stanking well, like you know, a motherfucker. I definitely appreciate you, man. You're definitely a funny cat, man. And you know what I'm saying? I just caught a, your show on Showtime. I actually subscribed to Showtime just to record your show, man. That's what's up, man. Hey, hey, no, Ill man, Kid, so. if I ever come to New York, man, just, just come up to me and say something, man. Say, hey, yo, it's Ill Kid. I called the show. Yeah, man, that's just a name I made up tonight, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For a reason. But yeah, definitely, man. That's what's up, Appreciate man. Appreciate it. Hey, man, you, you love, like, man. man. Hey, that, that Hurricane um, Sandy didn't fuck oh, nah, you. No, nah, no, nah, I think, man. I'm up in North Jersey, man. I'm right, you know, around right the other side of the water in New York, so I was lucky as hell, man. No water, no no damage. And I usually get flooded out, so, you know, thank God for that. Everything was good. Yeah, I fucked this bitch uh, who was in the hurricane. Her coat was wet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hear you, man. Yeah, but they really got blasted by the, by the shores and shit. A lot of houses just smashed the hell up, man. I well, know, man. People crazy, can't tell man. by the news. They can't tell by looking at the news. I, I heard it was sharks in the street. Damn. <laughs> I hear that shit. That's crazy, Did man. Did you hear that? I could imagine. I know it was a lot of wild shit because they seem like real big ships that made it way inland and shit that should have been nowhere near the shoreline. Right, that's crazy, man. So, anyway, yeah, it was right, fucked brother. up, man. It was like Katrina in New Jersey, man. It was wild as a motherfucker. That's you know? crazy. He ain't had no power for two weeks. You know, he started looting the Jersey City a little bit, so it got a little crazy, I heard. But uh, Niggas was stealing all the Jordans and shit. <laughs> Whatever they can out here, man. It's real. The grind is way up. That's what's up. All right, brother. We going to get up all out right, of here. Um, is it another caller or something? Oh, we going to break. Well, listen, Bobby, 
Um, I had to go to the bathroom because that motherfucker bladder is blue the fuck out. <laughs> that nigga need a salt palmetto. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I couldn't think of shit. But anyway, 5150. The number to call in is area code 323. 323- 965-1600-5150. And you see that I drunk. Oh, this a fruit booty artist? Hell no. Just in case he don't make it home tonight, that dick up in that ass. Dot com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com. That was a little pussy ass commercial we had on RMC Radio. This is the Corey Oakham 5150 show. We are back. Bobby went to relieve his bladder again. Thank God. Drunk than a motherfucker. Speaking over every motherfucker body. But we wouldn't have him no other way, God damn it. Bobby is, um, one day we're going to videotape um, after the show how when um, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> That was funny. Our TDP just rode in the back. <laughs> I want to get away from the I'm going to try my best to get Bobby to um, get old girl to pick him up to get out the car. I think America needs to see this. Wait, he got a friend picking him up? Yeah, this female that picks him up. Um, Wide body? Yeah. Well, she's not. I've never seen her. I just want to see her get out of the car because Bobby always hide people. I want to see who so she I'm is, high. and I want to see her get out the car. And I know she may be listening, so Bobby is going to have to do some explaining. I just want you to know, I know you're listening to the show. Bobby is not in here. That's why I'm whispering. So you can dog him out or whatever you're going to do because he's not here. and He doesn't even know what you're going to be arguing with him about. <laughs> Don't put him out, though, because he ain't coming to my crib. 5150 motherfucking show. Um... I also want to talk um, about this subject because I've I've seen this poster. I don't know if it's true or not. It says um, there's a poster in the hood saying abortion is the number one killer of black in the hood. Is that is that what that poster says? Black youth. Black youth? Right. So um, basically I want to say you bitches ain't shit. You bitches are slaughtering these motherfucking kids. (laughs) <laughs> Even though it's a lot of guys like, cool out, Corey, because I got this bitch going to the clinic tomorrow. That's kind of fucked up that we have kids we don't want because we fuck who we don't want to be part of in the long run. But that dick in my pussy is all it's hyped up to be. <laughs> I can honestly say I've paid for about Six abortions, and um, yeah, I've paid for about six abortions, and um, I've had three abortions that happened naturally due to my talent. Just bugged the shit out of the bitch as I knew she was pregnant and shit. Um, Kept telling us tragical shit. I don't know how many abortions you've paid for, but at least I'm bold enough to admit it. It's been about six, though. You ever been with a girl, and she didn't have three abortions with you, and you stay with her? This is common shit. People don't like to say this shit. TDP agreed with me. Um, I did notice this about girls who've had more than three abortions. They have, Their period lasts at least five days. Something happened after that second abortion where your period is extended. TDP. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm on the 5150 show. The 5150 with TDP. Bobby might be in there shitting. Oh, he done threw up. He's trying to get out. Paul doesn't lock the door. He, dropped he ain't his, got no keys. He dropped his pack. Hilarious. <laughs> he had to find that motherfucker. TDP. Yes, sir. The girl who you um, had three abortions with, is she still around? Uh, she's still around. She's hanging on in there. She's an 83 um, Nova. She's an 83 Nova? Yeah. With the back door, uh, Jimmy uh, knocked off. But she's hanging on in there. She's married now. Got a dude. And, you know. Bless her heart. It's kind of awkward when you see girls that you got that type of history with and you see them with they dude. Especially if he a cool dude. He'd be like, hey, TDP, what's up, Yeah, man? I seen her in uh, Albertson. Because oh. she walked in. I was like, hey, you know, I was getting ready to give her the whole, remember this type of, then he walked in. She's like, oh, this is my husband. I was like, how you doing? I just shook her hand. You right. Know? <laughs> he showed respect. But then he looked in my eyes. I looked in his eyes. He like, 
Give me the history. I said, hey, you ain't finna download me in the market. Right, goddammit. They ain't really gotta know the history. All they know, I, I got that. I've been fucking the shit out of this bitch. Look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a look. <laughs> yeah. Porters, can I get on camera? I want everybody to know that this is my. If I meet your girl and I've been fucking the shit out of her, um, <laughs> don't break you, character. And now. you speak to me like TDP, be like, oh, hey, what's up, man, or whatever. Hey, Corey, how you doing? Hey, what's, oh, that's your girl? Yeah. Oh. So it's a whole lot of tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joker smile. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's right. My, I, I got this one girl, though, uh, very attractive woman. Okay. She's about six. She's about six one. No heels? Six one, no heels? Well, no, six one for real. No heels. Okay, six, that's one. what I'm saying. Yeah. She's tall. Right. And obviously, you can imagine she has a size twelve foot. Very attractive girl. I feel you. But a size twelve foot. I know the right. name used to be Marcus. Whatever. <laughs> well, is that a deal breaker for you if the girl foot is that? No, nah, that's no, nah, that's that's like that. That's what you're talking about. That's like that Lisa Leslie. You know that right. tall girl's fine, got the body and everything, but the twelve shoe is like when you get up in the morning, she put your shoes on to go make breakfast. That's it's some about a big foot size 12 on a woman that throws you the fuck off. Because it's, it's your feet on her. Right. <laughs> so you can't really like... Mm. I'm not saying she's an ugly girl no, at all. all. In no, fact, no. she's a very attractive right. girl. Voluptuous. But, um... You it's know, just like when you land in the bed, her feet are higher up in yours. Because you yeah. can't see the TV from her side. You gotta, well, bitch, move your feet. She yeah. was six one. That's what I'm saying. And when she, um, she came out the bathroom... <laughs> To open the door, mm-hmm. I knocked on the door. You know how you see, you got it. Exactly. Where they, they don't even trip. Oh, it's Corey. Let me let him in. Exactly. She ain't have on no shoes. And I was like, that's a foot. Yeah. So was the second toe bigger than the big toe? Yeah, it was that fucked up shit where that second toe be longer. Yeah. It was longer. The big toe was fat. Mm-hmm. And that other toe was longer. That's supposed to be royalty. Y'all act like this shit really matters. <laughs> Doesn't matter, Bobby? Other- you know goddamn well you're not a hair guy or a foot guy. I am a foot guy. Well, you a rare motherfucker. I can't have all them bunions and runions. In Where are you from? I was born in Omaha, Nebraska. Then that explains everything. Hilarious. Bobby, so you saying feet don't matter to you? Feet and hair don't matter to most real niggas. That's not what make us matter. climb mountains and slay niggas and bears. Right. It's that booty... Them titties and them thighs. I ain't in the ass like that. But see, I mean, Bobby, you, you came gotta, up in a generation where women was women. You know, there wasn't no makeup, it wasn't no weaves, it was, it was just all natural hips. You still got that in your DNA. But I don't see it in the streets, though. Well, you, we ain't in the streets. Corey, are you in the hair? I'm not in the hair, but I'm in the feet. And you don't have to have a big ass with me. I'm not into ass no more because after no I, more, it's overrated. No more. When I was a young man, I used to go for girls it's with overrated. big asses. <laughs> That's I something to some, walk around with. Right. I don't have bitches with flat asses, and pussy fat in the motherfucker. Because <laughs> it ain't flat and when you really bend them over. Them girls with the dookie booty, the big, real big booty. Yeah. They don't know how to clean their ass. <laughs> it's a no. It be brown right here, then all black right there. Oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah. I hate that ashy booty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the crack be ashy. This bitch lotion her ass, but didn't. Well, you talking to new, to two niggas that's been gone too long. Who that? You and this uh, T-D-P. you know, fella dark skinned nigga. Okay. Okay. Bobby. So you 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 fuck with what kind of girls you fuck with? I I look at what I see first. Hmm. What is that? What do you see first, Bob? Well, you the one that told Poetry what you saw first. Poetry. What did you see first? That was a joke. I met Poetry way before this goddamn building even. This building was a Toys R Us when I met Poetry. Hysterical. And she still had what got your attention. That didn't get my attention. I was joking, Bobby. I don't. I'm not a titty man. I don't fuck girls. They never took their coat off. Don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. take my bottoms down. <laughs> right, man. That's that's it. I'm in. see, Bobby fuck with them Pam Greer type and uh, Sheila Frazier. 
Tight. I ain't gonna lie, Frazier. I'll raise my hand to that. Sheila Frazier was at um, Superfly. Yes, she was. That ain't yeah. Bobby tight. Bobby is more like... Yeah, the bathtub scene. Give me your love. Bobby Sheila is more Frazier. like... Um, he know me better than you. I just met him. I don't even know this nigga name. That's man. right. Yeah, he's supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, 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 Bobby type is um, Wheezy Jefferson type. <laughs> George, put me a George. But George. <laughs> A whole lot of Florida. Right. Florida Evans. Florida Evans. Damn, James. <laughs> James, let the boy express himself. <laughs> Is them the kind of girls that be at the house party back in the day, Bobby? I'm going to tell you something about back in the day. Speak on it. Back in the day, we used to just look at them. Okay. And if they made you move in their direction, you didn't have to make no apologies or give no explanation. Okay. In your generation, you got to check with MTV, BET, okay. TV One, and you know all them other stations right, where you right. can make up your mind what the fuck make your dick hard. Mm, no, that's for the younger dude. Yeah. Well, Bobby, that's you, like the supple dude over here. That's that's his generation. Okay, yeah, well you can put it on. Dude. I know that, like pretty teeth and. Yeah, that's the genuine generation. Oh, here. come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had some bitches with pretty teeth who ain't know how to suck dick to you nothing. Nah. Well, look where they nah, got nah, it. Nah, nah. Any chick, any chick under twenty six knows how to suck dick. They came up listening to hip hop, so they know they know what they need. To well, do. here's why you need to pay attention to the old folk. You still wearing a patch under your eye. I'm healing. Yeah, for three goddamn weeks. I can take it off. It's just at the scar. No, you can't because it'll change your configuration. You know, you ain't as cute without that exactly, goddamn patch. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Because it looked like you just got back from the war. They say, oh, you a veteran? Bobby is low-key flirting with this nigga. He Bobby said, is a faggot sexual. You know what? He a faggot this, sexual. This, this, yeah. third, this is the third goddamn time. You said the nigga was cute. <laughs> yeah, you because did say that. Because he am, my friend. I'm he man my enough. friend. I am man enough to be gay. I'm man enough to tell America that okay. a light-skinned nigga with better hair than me. Okay. What makes his hair better than yours, Bobby? Because niggas went for the bullshit. Bobby, you didn't have a conk? Never. I tried to blow out, kid. Okay, well, tell the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. I wanted a fro. Okay. What happened? I had that, you know, real nigga hat. Okay. Okay. I tried that blowout kit, and it blew my hair the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> and I had to just admit that that ain't going to work now, for me. Now, did you do it yourself, or did you get a professional? No, I'm going to tell you what worked for me. Kitty kid. But they, <laughs> Paul, did you got that camera on me, right? Yeah. Can you put it on my eyes? See, I got, <laughs> I, I got them eyes that made them bitches pussy moist. Moist. What color are your eyes, Bobby? They changed. Bobby they changed. And it made them bitches like me. Oh, so you got the mood ring eyes. But I wanted to be Jim Brown, and it was a conflict. You wanted to be Jim Brown? Yeah, but I, I was too thin. You didn't play ball? But I, I got pussy because I had light c- colored eyes. Huh? C- and I had to sell her for that. They can't okay. see his eyes through them cameras. Well, they see him when they meet me, though, goddammit. Because okay. I done had them bitches go and give me some pussy. And I wanted it for a different reason. Got you. But I just took it because, I ain't going to lie, I'm still a man. Right. You ever right. fuck right. a bitch in the ass, Bobby? One time, and it made my dick hurt. <laughs> 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 what year was this? 19... 19- 82. Oh, that was a good year. <laughs> no, it wasn't not for me. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because Reaganomics? I had to walk like John Wayne for about three weeks and couldn't explain it to nobody. You know, because nobody want to hear that, you know, you walking funny because you fucked a bitch in the ass. But that's some real shit. I did that shit one time and I knew it wasn't for me. Yeah. This girl, she wanted that and she, I just was like, fuck it, come on. <laughs> wow. And it was a shit chiclet <laughs> on my dick when I pulled out. I was like, this bitch had me fuck her in the ass. Did you say a shit chiclet? A shit, a shit chiclet. It looked, looked like my dick had a hair bump on it. I rubbed it. It was a shit chiclet. <laughs> now, it's some things, if you're a man, you don't tell other men until you get to the next level. Gotcha. Because ain't nothing to brag about when you walking funny. 
Okay. It make you look like somebody fucked you in your ass. Okay. <laughs> so you couldn't explain it? No. Okay. Till tonight. Oh my God. Till tonight. Yeah. yeah so you was hanging out with Jim Brown and then when all this happened? No, hell no. You was on your own? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what street were you on? Uh, Reed Alley. Reed Alley. In Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Oh, you from Whiskey Town? No, that's Jack Daniel. You talking about Lynchburg? Lynchburg, yeah, okay. And just make sure you know what you're talking to. Watch your tone, Bobby. No, <laughs> you from Omaha, Nebraska. I know where that is. No, you don't. My my cousin, who's gay, Earl. burned down a hotel. In he Omaha. had a lot of shit chicklets on his dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he be out. Hey, that one ain't nothing. You should have saw the one when I fucked that light gear in there. Hilarious. See, Corey, trust me, most of the time. You know what Des Moines is, right? Iowa. Right. Mm -hmm. My uncle was the first black judge in the state of Iowa. Okay. His wife is still alive, but since Corey don't trust her because she's 91, he said, Bobby, you can't bring that old bitch on my show. Well, Bobby she got, she be got history. To, Bobby be trying to bring all kind of elderly motherfuckers that he know on the show. This nigga tried to let me... <laughs> The nigga who played fish on Welcome Back, Carter. Hysterical. <laughs> Bobby wanted that motherfucker on the show. Like, what the fuck is he going to talk about? Hey, Pagoda. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Pagoda. Hysterical. Y'all need to try to catch up, though. See, that's the problem with you young motherfuckers. Y'all act like y'all ain't going to grow old. Do you know who Barry Rand is? No, but since you do, help me out. He's the CEO of um, AARP. AARP. I ain't even joined that shit. Yeah, but it's a brother. He's the president. I mean, see. Are you serious? No, I wouldn't lie to you. Well, you need to tell these other Negroes that listen to this radio show that I ain't the only old motherfucker out here. Okay, this is the 5150 show with Corey Hogan. A nigga is the president. Yes, sir. Of AARP. Barry Rand, CEO. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have you ever taken a bath with anybody else in the room besides your girl? No. You have you ever used the public showers at a YMCA or something like that? No, but we used to have to do that shit. See, we used to use uh, a number five tub. What is that? That's what niggas had to bathe in in 1960 if you didn't have running water. Oh, that was the um, the um, the big black pot. No, it wasn't black. It was goddamn cast iron. So, are you saying niggas would use the same bath water? Didn't know no difference. So y'all no, had that's a, the one you had to fill it up yourself and then put you the wood up under there. Right, warm it up, goddamn it, and get in that motherfucker after your sister <laughs> and your mama was in it first. Yeah, my so auntie had that in the backyard. Yeah, so in dudes, dudes would get in that big ass dick cappuccino <laughs> <laughs> and wash their face with that shit <laughs> and their ass. <laughs> and as Red Fox would say, your asshole. Wow, that's fucked up. I'm glad I ain't never had to hop in no... <laughs> you had bigger problems. In no big bowl with a bunch of motherfuckers. You know what, that nigga trying to act like he's something special? That nigga grew up... When I went to Chicago okay. with my country ass... Yes, sir. I thought where that nigga lived at was a goddamn office building. <laughs> uh, office 30 building. stories. Oh, that's the jack. Straight up. Oh, yeah. I said, that's an office building with some important people in it. <laughs> that was some niggas with no heat. And no goddamn running water. Okay. That's in, no, that's not true. I'm telling you, the inner city projects of Chicago had hot ass heat and hot ass water. It, it was it was a time where they wasn't tripping on that. They wasn't trying to take that away from you. Okay. They just knew they had you up in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna make you comfortable in your area. Right. 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 We're gonna start some shit and orchestrate some shit one you know way what? or another. He telling the truth about that. But mm -hmm. the only green green grass them niggas seen was on TV. Oh, yeah. You're wrong again. They actually had great grass out there. It was full of niggas' blood. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which actually was great fertilizer. <laughs> but they roses. had grass, baseball fields. They had It was water in the grass. The mm -hmm. projects looked nice in Chicago. Yeah, but Tennessee is real green. Well, that's where I'm from. Yeah. But... Uh, I just want to, we only got a few more minutes. Hey, are you going to come to the fight uh, Saturday night? Yeah, I'm going to the fight on in, out in Ontario that our friend is um, putting together. Okay. What's his name? Uh, Sam Watson. I gave you the cue, Bobby. I'm trying to give you a chance to say something pertinent. 
Well, here's what I'm going to say. Corey Holcomb is in a book called Real Men Don't Play because before he was embarrassed to let me say this, he was already a real man. And if you think I'm bullshitting, go to realmendon'tplay.com. And if you got enough guts, call in and say, congratulations, country-ass nigga. Okay, Bobby. So uh, <laughs> His uh, metaphors are incredible. You can go, spell that? Yeah. Check that, out. that nigga paid attention in school. Metaphors? Bobby, I didn't go to school just to hear the bell ring, nigga. I, I did my thing. Well, I just want to make Keep sure. Keep playing with the public. <laughs> but you ain't going to fool me, nigga. You wouldn't use that word if you didn't know what the fuck it meant. The Supposed next to say that. 5150 show on RMC Radio will be next Tuesday from 6 to 8. This time will be scratched. Who'd you bump, Corey? I don't know. Shit, I Some ain't more pussy-ass show? I don't know. Butterflies and rainbows? I don't know. They, they be having all kinds of shows in here. The show before us, I think it's some porno motherfuckers. What? Right? <laughs> <laughs> but here's what y'all need to know. It's actually going to start on time because Poetis is a good friend of Corey because friend? he would be 30 That's minutes up. late for that other bullshit show we was on. Oh, okay. This nigga going to be able to get you here. You lying. Time. You lying. <laughs> Say lying the whole motherfucking show. But what we're going to do, we're going to make sure this next 5150 show, I'm going to structure it in a way That's right. where we got to have a female back. I'm going to try to get Darlene to come back. If oh, not, you got to get Darlene back. If not, you know, fuck it. Darlene doing her shit now. She probably um, got back with, um, let me shut up. You know. think so? I don't know. I doubt it. Doubt it. I okay. Doubt it. I don't know. We'll see. I want y'all to know that Port is trained the microphone on a nigga I just met tonight. He's advertising some nigga that ain't even paying him. Timberland. Who who the fuck own that shit? Nigga, it's cold outside. Ain't that a bitch? Bobby is talking about TDP having on his Timberland jacket, which is a actually nice jacket. Thank Bobby, you, Corey. Bobby has on the... Um, My own shit, goddammit. Right. You made that cotton? He went to Walgreens. No, I made the No, did you make the cotton? No, I made the name so on it. So it ain't your own part. shit. Bobby you, went to Walgreens and bought yeah, a shirt. Yeah, I said it. But can wrote, you read this shit? Yeah, I can read it. Then tell him what it say. Real men don't play. Then act the like book one. and documentary. Act like one then, goddammit. Hilarious. Well, you get put out of this motherfucker. 323 <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's hysterical. Is the number to call in when shit going on. But we finna wrap this puss ass shit up. This is the last 930 5150 show on the Bootleg Network. Well, I'm glad I was on it. And we will end with one of the biggest blue out assholes in the history of entertainment. <laughs> Who's this? This is Teddy P. <laughs> Oh. Well, they didn't call him Teddy Tender Ass for nothing. Okay. <laughs> we gonna end on that one. 5150, motherfuckers. We out. No hands on the steering wheel music presents. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Let's take a shower.